YouTubers, we are back for the long-awaited chest candy video. Chest candy. Now this, to get chest candy, you have to get 40 different ribbons. So we're, we're going to go... Only 40. Yeah, only 40. So we're going to go through each of the ribbons here and just kind of describe what you need to do to get them and maybe a few tips and tricks about how to get them. Alright, so starting off... And before we start off, we'd like to thank you for watching this video series. Yes, and all our if, if you've stuck with us the entire time, you're a real trooper, and we yeah. think you're great. And we think you're so awesome, and if we could send you cupcakes, we would. Okay. Or cookies, again, or whatever your preference may be. <laughs> and again, one grape and boss solid snake here, bringing you the tips and tricks of Mag. Alright, so we're going to start off with the famous Grim Reaper Ribbon. This is for killing 35 enemies in a battle. It's every, now, everybody's favorite. There are some players that have thousands of these. There are some players that have none of these. It just depends on your skill level. But if you're trying to get this and you don't have it yet, here's the tip I suggest. Tip one. Use a nice assault rifle loadout. You can find one of those in our other videos. And tip two is get into bigger games with longer time frames and call in a lot of mortar barrages, cluster bombs, strafing runs, gas bombardments, anything you can think of that could get you a kill without actually having to be in the battle is preferable. And our personal preference would say to also be on Sever, but you know, it's not necessary. There are no. other people that get plenty of Grimms being on Valor and Raven. Yes. Shoutouts to MIB on Raven. Shoutouts to Keck on Valor. You know, there's great players out there. VLS and all. VLS. All those other guys that make a habit of trying to kick the ever loving crap out of us right. on a regular so, basis. Anyway, Grim Reaper Ribbon, 35 kills. Just the easiest way to do it is just as many different tactics as you can to get a kill. Knife, shoot, drop cluster bombs lay claymores, you know, change loadouts in the middle of a game if one's not working for you, and be aggressive. Be really aggressive. Do not try to, you know, wait for an enemy. Go find them. Yes, get in there. Get in there. I mean, this you is know. Not, this is, now, there are people that can get these while sniping, but it is a lot easier, easier to just get in there and do it. Right. So, anyway, that's the Grim Reaper ribbon, and that's our tips for that. All right, moving on to the Purple Heart Ribbon. Which is, is basically the polar opposite of the Grim Reaper Ribbon. This is for dying 30 times in a battle. Yeah. If you're playing against great players, you'll get this easily. And if you really just want to go and get one just for the sake of working on chess candy, just go stand somewhere and let people kill you. Yeah, just be a bullet magnet. That's Sometimes the best kind of way fun. to do it. All right, so that's Purple Heart dying 30 times. Next one is Mr. Bad Wrench. Oh, God. Uh, Again, Mr. we Bad discussed Ridge. this in um, the first video of this series. Basically, sneak behind enemy lines and blow up motor pools with vehicles in them is the easiest way to get this ribbon. Which is the one where you have to get three of them for the Junkyard Jockey Trophy. Way to go, Snake. Yes, I got it right this time. All right, so that's that one. Sneak behind enemy lines, blow up motor pools, and you'll have this in no time. Yeah. Next one is Butterfinger's Ribbon. This one is another one where you can get it very easily. Just go hit the red line a couple times or Tony Romo a couple of grenades into the ground and kill yourself. Yeah. Whatever it takes, just kill yourself two times in a battle and you'll get one. Right. Easy, easy, easy. Used to be three times back before they changed it, but now it's only two. So. All right. So the next one on the list is the Bunker Buster. We, did, we went over this one as well. <clears throat> in the video, uh, I believe. Bust up. You gotta destroy two bunkers in a round. Yeah, so. That's all there is to that one. Precision strikes, easy to do. If you want more details about it, go back and watch the. Yeah. Watch the. I think it's Efficiency, efficiency Engineer is the trophy that that one's associated with. Yes, so that is Bunker Buster Ribbon, and so pretty easy to get once you get the hang of it. Yeah. Just destroy your bunkers, plant your charges, work with your uh, like, squad Like I mates. said, you, specific strategy for it can be found on the video with the efficiency engineer trophy description. All right, so next one is Goldfield Engineer. This is for repairing two bunkers, so get your repair kits out. When they blow your bunker up, go repair it. You'll it's find that, that a lot of these ribbons, uh, they're, they kind of come in pairs where one will be for destroying something, then the other will be repairing the same thing. Right. 
So yeah, max out your engineering and you'll be able to repair these in no time. Yeah. Just have some people provide cover fire. Exactly. Alright, next one on the list is called Mortar Demolition Ribbon. We went over this one yeah, in earlier videos, so we're not going to go into detail on this. destroying two ribbons. Or yeah. destroying two mortars in a battle. Very right. simple. Alright, so the next one on the list is Gatekeeper. Um, this is for repairing two gates. Again, max out your engineering. When gates blow up, go repair them. Sometimes it can be kind of a pain because you're kind of out in the middle, the, but you can do it. These are actually the easiest to get uh, if you can get into a game of domination because right. there's a lot more yeah. gates there to worry about. Exactly. Alright, and the ribbons that we're showing you are the ones that we recommend concentrating on and they're just easier to get. Alright, the next one on the list is called the Party Crasher Ribbon. This is destroying three gates in one battle. Domination again. Sneak behind enemy lines through sensor jammer. Go blow up the gates near the objectives. You'll have this so easily. Yeah. All right. Especially if you can sneak back there before the letters open up. Yeah. All right. So moving on the list again. Our next one is the bronze field engineer ribbon. Okay. This one's not exactly easy to get because roadblocks are always in the middle of an open area, and you're always if they've gotten to the roadblocks, the battle's intense and repeated. Pairing them can be a real pain. Unless you get lucky and somebody just snuck back there and tried to take them out. Right. So, either way, if you're just trying to get this uh, trophy, just get one of these ribbons and don't worry about it for right now. I'll explain yeah. later in the next video why, but for right now, just get one. Alright, next one is the Wrecking Crew. This is for destroying through roadblocks. Just sneak behind enemy lines. Blow up three roadblocks in one battle, and the ribbon is yours. That's basically going to be our strategy for most of the destroying things. Just sneak behind enemy lines and do it where right. where the most opposition you run into is on the way back there. Once you're back there, you've pretty much got free reign. Just keep your eyes open for and roving so soldiers or whatever. Yeah. All right. So that's a wrecking crew. Real easy to get. Next one's a silver field engineer. Now. Let me explain this one to you. This is repairing one bridge in one battle. Most of the time, people think, oh, I gotta get into domination because that's where the bridges are. You do not have to. All you need to do is have a repair kit loadout attacking an acquisition on Elk Bay Logistics because there's a bridge there. Now, here's the key. If you have all your engineering equipment loaded out, sneak behind enemy lines with your repair kit. They're going to blow up the bridge because that's one of the main ways to get the escort vehicles across. When the bridge blows, it blows down, and there's a little crevice you can crawl into and repair from the ground up. They can't see you. You're not out in the open. You can repair the bridge, run off. They'll blow it up again. Go repair it. Run off. I have two ribbons, but I have ten bridges repaired, so use that tactic. All right. So, that's the Silverfield Engineer Ribbon for bridge Bridges. Which we can actually get back into in a little more detail when we're going over the medals for the yeah. Eager Beaver. The next one is Mortar Support. Again, repairing. Max out your repair kit. Find a mortar battery that's down. Repair it. Usually, we'll, you know, there'll be a lot of people around it. When you're repairing stuff, make sure you're the first one there or the second one there because if you get there too late and only get just a couple repair units, you won't get credit for it. Um, if you repair most of it and someone else repairs the last little bit, you will get credit for it. In most cases. Some, In most some, cases. Sometimes it still doesn't pop, but for the most part, if you've got the majority of the repair on it, you'll get credit for it, even if somebody else finishes it. Right. Alright, so the next one is Total Blackout. We went over this one in earlier videos. Just destroying two sensor rays, sneak behind enemy lines, and you'll be good to go there. Network support, same thing, max out your repair kit and go repair sensor arrays, real easy to do. Next one, Marauder Ribbon. This is for planning three explosive charges. You will get this when you're planning your charges on destroying motor batteries, gates, AAs, whatever you want to do. Exactly. Real easy to get. Uh, the next one on the list is the Bomb Squad Ribbon. This is for disarming three explosive charges. You can get this in any game mode. You know, when something's flashing and about to blow up, go disarm it. Which, it helps again, if you is got one your... we've already covered. Yep. I believe that one was a close call. Alright, next one on the list is Master Engineer Ribbon. This is basically 
max out your repair loadout, your engineering, and go repair anything you can repair. Fine. Motor batteries, AAs, vehicles, bunkers, turrets. Which we just covered that one on the last video for the the triple threat trophy. Right. Alright, so the next one on the list is called Combat Mechanic. This is repairing two vehicles. Uh, interdiction is a good one for this one, or acquisition. Best part about attacking. this one is you don't have to fully repair it. As long as you get like maybe two, three little little ticks on there, it's, it should be enough to get you credit for it. So just go repair vehicles like crazy and you'll have this ribbon in no time. Golden Cross, we already went over this one. That's just res resuscitate. And 15 reses in a battle. Yep. Res like crazy when people are down, don't pass them by. Silver Bullet, aim for the head. Do this Plain 10 times in a game, you got it. Long shot, snipe. It's yep. three kills, 120 meters. There's other ways to get it, but that's the easiest. Purple side kick. This goes back to little buddy, which is just getting 15 assists in a battle. Relatively simple. Just go around, shoot, but don't kill. Right. Silver cross. We went over this one on a couple of different trophies. This is just repairing the 250 units of health on people. The one we referred to is going around and just spraying your good shiz on everybody. Right. Triple A ribbons. We covered this one already too. Yep. This is just destroying a an aircraft and one just destroying one of them in a battle. If you're having trouble getting this ribbon, try laying a few claymores down before you set your charge. That way it buy you a little time. Yeah. Other than that, you know, work with your or, squad mates. Yeah, go back there in a group and kind of hit it as a group. All right, so the next one is a support. This is repairing ribbon for the AA. Again, max out your repair loadouts. Yeah. Repair when it's down. Combat assault. We covered this one already too. It's getting 25 kills with the assault rifle. If you want more details on this one and the one next to combat fragger. Uh, just go watch the chunk of video on Devil Dog, and that'll cover, tell you what you need to know about those. Yeah, this combat assault is for Devil Dog. Combat Fragger will be for a whole lot of hurt. Right. And combat melee, we went over, had a knife and all that good stuff. Which we can is max for out knife in, skills. The in your face trophy. Yep. Combat machine gun, we went over in the whole lot of hurt. Combat Fragger for the whole lot of hurt. Moving down again is the combat SMG. This can be a pain because SMGs tend not to be that powerful. Yeah. So if you one run of, around close of, quarters yeah. with heavy one of those armor. Where you just need to do up your close quarters and just... It takes getting used to. Right. And then we have the combat sniper. Uh, this is for 25 enemies with a sniper rifle. You'll get really good at this when you snipe for a while. And you may end up getting these in the process of trying to get some of the other ribbons too. Right. And the, the basically sniper trophy that we described in the last video. Now the combat sidearm we went over in Devil Dog. Yeah, which is the other half of the Devil Dog. So it's just max out your close quarters and be good to go there. Yeah. Uh, combat shotgun can be really annoying because the shotgun is kind of its own little player's curve. Some people are really and, good with it. And it too aren't. is max out your. Close quarters. close quarters and it'll help combat launcher this is a really annoying ribbon to get um, but as you can see grape only got it once but that's yeah, all you well, need I only tried for it once <laughs> this is one of those things where you basically just need to get used to how the projectiles arc it's just kind of a trial and error thing eventually you'll f you'll figure out where it's gonna hit and it gets a lot easier to get the kills all right, so yeah, once you figure that out, you should be able to take out snipers and you know people in objectives pretty easily. Yeah. Or in a vehicle in an APC, you can get them that way. All right, the miners ribbon so easy to get. Just place ten mines. Go place two. Go uh, re uh, reload. Place another two somewhere exactly. else. Reload. Rinse and repeat. Yeah. You're good to go there. All right, guys, we're coming onto our 15 minute mark, so we're gonna have to shorten this up a little bit. We're gonna come back. We'll finish it up in a real quick video but and finish up these last few ribbons uh so thank you for watching and we'll be back shortly all right thanks guys bye